Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create flashing lights quickly and easily. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So I just have a very simple scene here. We can see it's uh, an asset from the asset store, which uh, I have reviewed at one point. I've actually used it in my tutorials as well. It's, a, it's an okay asset. It's not too bad. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create an environment uh, that will have flashing lights. So here, let's have a, a light that will flash, maybe red, another one over here that will flash green. So you can see just how interchangeable it actually is. So firstly, uh, you can actually do this with any light at all. It doesn't necessarily have to be a point light, which is what we're going to use. And it doesn't have to be spotlight. It can be any type of light. So if we go to game object and go to light and let's just start with a point light. And I'm going to bring it into view so we can actually see the effects of the light on the scene itself. Uh, if we can actually bring it to the right area. Uh, so we can see already that the light is misbehaving, which is what I always like to see. <laughs> so I am going to turn off the directional light just so as we only have the light from this. So let's place it somewhere here. Uh, let's increase the intensity to about maybe, in fact, we'll do it quite high so we can see bright flashing. So we'll do 10. And I'll also increase the range to about 25. So if we press play now, we can see that light there. So if I move it over here and we'll start this on red. Now, all we need to do, just change the color to whatever color you want, bright red. And the way this is going to be done is via animation rather than scripting. You can use scripting if you want to, um, but animation is quicker and easier in this case because it's just a case of a few clicks and you've got your flashing. So all we need to do is go to animation and click on create. And when it's prompted, just do flashing light or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and as a side note, if you don't have that animation tab, you'll be able to get it just by clicking the little drop down menu there, clicking add tab and then click on animation right there. After this, click on the record button and it'll turn red here. And what we need to do, we're in 60 frames a second, we need to set that first keyframe. Now this is all going to be based on intensity. So the first keyframe is going to say intensity 10. And it'll set those two little nodes there, which means that is the keyframe set. Now, we have to figure out now how quickly we want the flashing to occur. A nice kind of constant slow flashing maybe. So after, let's say maybe a second we'll do a second so we'll go to frame 60 uh, the flash is all the way down to let's just have it as one so it's just barely visible which then means after another 60 frames which is frame 120 we can just change the intensity back to 25 or whatever it was previous so press the record button once again and then press play and you'll have a flashing point light. Well, you will as long as Unity decides it wants to actually wake up and do something. Come on, Unity, wakey wakey. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, Unity. You should not be sleeping now. It's asleep. It hasn't crashed, it's just been a little bit slow. It's still thinking about it. Goodness me. It is still. <laughs> There we go. So, yeah, I can see what's happened there. It's not quite flashing as intended. Uh, I think I've set the intensity too high, haven't I? So the first keyframe there, let's change that, is set at, so let's set it back to, not range. I don't know why I've set range. What did I have range as? I had that as 25, didn't I? And intensity was 10. That'd be why. So let's deal. Uh, I was going to show you the range way of doing it as well. So we may as well bring that into the equation now. And then if we go to the last frame, let's just set that to uh, back to 10. So the range is uh, 25 on each. It's set back to 25 as well. So there are a couple of different ways, like I say, of doing it. Uh, the first one I said was going to be the intensity. 
but we'll move on to range in just a second. But we should be able to see the flashing light actually flashing correctly now rather than inconsistently. There we are. So if you've got uh, maybe a light bulb or something there, you can create that flashing um, kind of illusion, I guess. Is illusion the right word? So the other way of doing it, like I said, is if we keep the intensity at 10 the whole way through. So first keyframe, we have range 25, intensity 10. This frame here, after a second, let's keep that intensity at 10, but let's have the range as 5. And then let's stop. So this flashing is going to be based on the range rather than the intensity. There we go. So I guess it depends what kind of flashing you want. You can see visually it does look different. It's as though it's like a spot on the ground which is guiding where it could be. So that is the other way of doing it. And I'm going to set the range uh, intensity to 1 there. I'm going to set it back to how it was uh, originally. In fact, I should probably press record and change it there, shouldn't I? So 25 and 1. So this is the original way of doing that flashing. And it's easily uh, duplicated. We can just hold control, press D, bring this over here, and then we can just change the color to a green, I guess. And then press play. And we should be able to see it's as easy as that to create a flashing light. Now, obviously, there are different ways of creating a flashing light. You don't necessarily have to keep it as it is. You could, for example, play around with the animation and move the nodes this way. So maybe to there and these ones to there. So you create a quicker flashing effect. There we go. A bit like a disco. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically how you can do it all via animation. I've always found animation to be quicker and easier because rather than code something to do it, you can just create that animation which will give it that nice, uh, easily manipulative way of doing it. And again, it really is that easy to change how you want to do it. You could have maybe a quick descent into going off and then gradually comes back on. So let's put that intensity there as one. Oops, not that one there. I actually meant to do it on this one. So on this keyframe, if we set that as one, which it is, it'll go off quickly, but then slowly come back on. So it'll flash in that sense now. So let's press play one more time. There we go. So that is how we can create flashing lights in Unity quickly and easily. It's all about manipulating that animation timeline. Hope that's helped guys and I hope you can use that in your game. If you want to know any more let me know in the comments below and yeah I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks very much for watching guys.